Hey everybody, how's it going? Here is a quick video on what the dream world is. Uh, when you log into your farm, you may have some type of alarm that says dream world starts today, but you'll know that the dream world is going on when you see this extra tab. So what you would do is click on it and it will uh, say enter the dream and it will ask you if you want to do certain types of um, startups. One which would include some very basic buildings. Uh, one that you can pay for gold and get a few of those fancy houses, um, fancy barn, um, and then there's another option which I didn't really look at, but I think it gives you even more of uh, those um, gold funded buildings. So if we click on Dream World, I've already started it, um, let go in. What you'll see is something that just looks like a very basic main farm and you'll start off with some type of building. So when you do log in, you start off with um, a house and then a windmill and a field. You'll also have a chicken coop. It'll ask you to do certain tasks. These tasks will give you some rewards like money, XP, um, some things called copper moons. You're able to see this here, copper moons is basically the other form of currency in the dream world. You can use them to build buildings that are very similar to the ones that we are building on our main farms that require mm, those championship tokens. So in this particular dream world, you have access to the candy cow shed. You have access to all the different buildings that take up less space or take up a lot of space, but they're more efficient, I suppose. Um, so I've done a, quite a few of the different levels and I've been able to level up to level 14. So why do the dream world? The dream world gives you a bunch of diamonds much faster than if you were to try and place first in the farmer's league. Um, the way that this works is depending on your XP that you accumulate through the, I think it's like five or six or seven days, you get assigned a certain amount of diamonds at the end of the, okay, here's six days. So right now I'm at level 14, I will get guaranteed 3,532 diamonds. That's just for basically completing all these tasks is the fastest way to increase the XP that's up here. Um, and what's nice is that building times on this farm are approximately half of what it would cost for you to do it um, on your regular farm. I will also mention that these copper moons can be used if you plan on playing solo. And then in that case, when you go to build things, you can build these theme production facilities. So let's say you want to buy the beach garden, and it would cost 15,000 moons, or maybe an Irish coop, and that's how much it would cost. These would be upgraded also with moons, and they jump pretty quickly, so you have to make the decision, am I going to um, play solo and just collect a whole bunch of moons? use them to upgrade these buildings to meet the required tasks on the side. Your stable master um, just asked me to start production on stables four times. I get a prize, I get a token, which I'll talk about, and then a dream, oh uh, sorry, a dollar, a diamond flower seed. This is actually new, that's why I'm kind of stumbling around. As you can see, you can level up pretty fast to get some rewards. And XP. So usually you get XP, a lot of XP for buying land and for doing stuff, and eventually you get some money back. So money can run out really quickly as well because you're upgrading all the time to meet tasks down here. So here's an example. Level up your barn. So you start off with a level 1 barn, they ask you to level up to like level 8, and you just keep getting more and more tokens along the way. And there's the wheel where you would spin these tokens, and then you get a so I actually really like that I can get some copper moons. Um, there's also different seeds that help me make money. Um, now, what would happen if you wanted to join a co-op? Because you see in the chat we talked about the co-op on the dream world. Finding a co-op is not easy. So you have to kind of know somebody, or someone has to actually find you and recruit you. I just I do happen to know that Solana, who is from our co-op previously, regularly funds a cooperative on the dream world, Vinny's Big Dream, and there's a whole bunch of us in there. Research is not paid with money, it's paid with copper moons. So if you want to join a co-op, you would be signing up for research because that's what you do, you help the co-op out, and then you would be paying with moons. So you could see that 8,000 moons would disappear pretty quickly 
if you were trying to do both these special buildings and upgrades. So here's an example, this building would cost 17,000 just to upgrade, but then you could use those 17,000 moons to help with research to make more money. Why would you make more money? So that you could buy more land along the way. There's some interesting hacks along with this particular dream world that Big Farm has not picked up on, or maybe they know, um, and it helps you XP raise up real fast. Okay, so uh, what else do we need to talk about? Um, really, it's do you want to put time into building a little farm, but then also having the main farm, a regular main farm, running at the same time, which has logged me out. So uh, in our little co-op, some people are skipping the research for us, and that's really nice of them. So I'm just going to go in and sign up for the next one. I think I did it already, but you can see I've signed up. Um, harvesting gives you XP, just like on the regular farm. What do I really like about the dream world? Well, this is free, Turbo Harvester. If I happen to have the materials here, I could just hit that and it would start it up for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to harvest some chicken feed. Those are blue because I have the materials now. And I just go Swift Seeder. Start it up again. Pretty cool. The apple is ready. The apple orchard is ready. It's trouble har harvest and I think I did a regular one. So why not? Let's do it again. No gold. All free. You do start off with 100 gold. I don't actually use my gold to skip anything. I don't use it to buy any special products. I just use it to buy land um, right at the beginning. That's a, a strategy for myself. Buys a bunch of plots, um, plots and I'm happy with that. Or you can save the 100 gold and spend it as you want to. There's also a library, which I highly recommend. Using your money, you would buy these books to increase the amount that you get per harvest. This is the other key part of the dream world to help you with um, upgrading the marketplace. There are three types. First type are these two dollar contracts. Use these to get money. These are XP contracts. A little bit of money. XP will grow as your level of these uh, contracts grow, so that's a way to tackle it if you want. The last one is buy contracts. Um, sorry if I've been saying the wrong word. Contracts. These contracts. So the last row is to buy contracts. No money, but you will get in exchange toolboxes. These ones are focused on because you don't just get toolboxes from harvesting anywhere on the farm. You only get toolboxes through here. Sometimes it's hummus and feed or whatever. I'm actually just going to say no thank you because I only want ones with toolboxes. Why would I want to do that? Because in the game, just like in our regular farm, toolboxes are used to do machines. And so this lovely little thing here is called Special Press. If I upgrade it, it will increase the amount of XP I get per something, right? Per harvest. So if I wanted to max this out, you would need toolboxes. So to upgrade this, I need five, and I need some certificates. No different than our actual regular game. Uh, I only have two, so I just need to go back. So I could either do market hall, or look down here. Do I have any? No, not yet. So I'm just gonna have to keep plugging away, and eventually I will get those. Um, I also have some money. I could buy them if I want to but I would lose quite a bit of money and I wouldn't have anything to upgrade, which I kind of need to increase or achieve these different tasks. So I really like these tasks because if I do this, then I get those tokens, spin, I get some diamonds, I get some money. I hope I'm not going too fast. Okay, so again, why would I want to activate the special press? Watch this. The so level 16, buy that thing, it's not that much, and then, oh. I already bought it. Okay, sorry. I all hyped up and I didn't even actually do what I was supposed to do. Okay, new plot of land. Buy it, yes, and then watch. And lots of XP. Automatically jump on that goal. It is great. As you level up, buying XP does not do that. But it gets you pretty close. So then what you do is you would, you know, buy a tractor, activate that tractor. And then you could do like 100 or 200 percent, and then you get so much XP. Okay, so I hope that helps a little bit. Have any questions? Feel free to ask. Have a nice day.